So, dear students, welcome to another lecture of uh, basic electrical engineering. In this particular lecture, we will discuss about the uh, electrical energy and uh, calculation of its consumption. So, this lecture is dedicated to the introduction of the electrical energy, what is electrical energy, how it is generated, and then we will see that how we can calculate the total electrical energy consumption and how can we calculate its consumption cost. So let us start with the introduction to the electrical energy. So electrical energy is one of the most commonly used forms of energy in the world. As we can see that almost all of our uh, daily uh, needs right uh, are dependent on the electrical energy like let it be anything okay uh, working of our electrical appliances anything like that so most of them are dependent on the electrical energy so when we have the electricity only then they operate else they cannot operate right so it is the most convenient form of energy, mostly used form of energy. And it is most clean energy also, right? Electrical energy. Uh, electrical energy is generated at some generation point and it is very convenient for us to, uh, you know, transport or transmit uh, this energy over a long distance, right? So there are two, three things basically. The first is the generation of the electrical energy. And then we have the transmission. And then we have the distribution. So this energy can be conveniently transported or transmitted to a long distance, right? And lastly, we have distribution. So, as we can see that uh, in our daily lives, uh, okay, so this energy plays a very important role and electrical energy has uh, made our life uh, very convenient and comfortable. We are very much dependent on the electrical energy, right? So, uh, our basic needs even are dependent on the electrical energy. Uh, as you can see that uh, our home appliances, we have the electric cars, we have uh, the trains, okay, automotives, which operate on the electrical energy. And um, there are some electrical machineries like the submersible pump, water pump, cooler, um, anything like that. Okay, so they also use electrical energy for their operation. And then we have the street lights, we have the traffic lights and all that, right? So these uh, all commodities, these all, uh, you know, uh, appliances or apparatus or machineries make use of electrical energy for their uh, operation for their functioning. Uh, in place of a fuel, right, a petrol or diesel, uh, electrical energy is conveniently used in industrial applications also, as uh, you know, along with the domestic use. So electrical energy is conveniently used uh, in industrial uh, applications for the running of various machineries installed in the industries. So instead of using any kind of fuel which leads to the generation of smoke and other poisonous gases and pollute the environment, so it is very uh, beneficiary and beneficial for us to use electrical energy because it is clean as compared to uh, the energy obtained um, by burning any fuel, right? 
Um, there are various ways by which uh, we can generate the electricity. For example, we can use the generators which convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy. We can uh, get the electricity through chemical energy conversion, through potential energy conversion, kinetic energy, nuclear energy. So there are many means by which we can get the electricity. And then, yes, electricity again, is the AC electricity and DC electricity. So that is also one aspect, right? Uh, electrical energy is usually sold by the kilowatt hour. So sold means the electricity bill that we get. So when we uh, you know, use our electrical appliances, so these electrical appliances operate on the electricity right and when they use electricity for their functioning for their operation so actually they are consuming the electricity and we get the electricity bill based on the total consumption of the electricity right and this bill is um, based on the total kilowatt hour which are consumed at our end by the load load means by the electrical appliances electrical machineries right uh, so, uh, uh, kilowatt R is obtained by multiplying the power, which is in kilowatt, the, the, the unit of uh, power, and this power here is the active power, right? So, it is the active power. Active power is the real power. It is the power which is consumed, which is utilized by the load. So when we multiply the active power, which is in watts or kilowatts, let us say with the time specifically or preferably in hours, so we get the kilowatt hour. So the electricity bill that we get uh, for the consumption of electrical energy is uh, for the total kilowatt hour consumed by the appliances installed at our home or at the industry, right? Electric meter is used to measure the electrical energy. So the device which is used to measure electrical energy is known as electric meter, right? So uh, electric meters keep on running, right? Keep on measuring the total energy consumed by the uh, customer. Customer means uh, the one who is utilizing, the one who is using the electrical energy, right? Okay. So now this is the structure of Indian power system. This is taken from NTPC website. So as you can see, we have the generation of the, of the electricity here, then it is transmitted and we step up the voltage we generate the voltage at this level then we step up the voltage at this particular level and then we transmit it to a long distance it is received by a substation where it is stepped down the voltage is stepped down right and then again it is transmitted to another substation where it is further stepped down and then again to a next substation where it is further stepped down then we have the distribution, right? So the distribution could be commercial distribution like malls, shops, uh, markets, marketplaces, all that. So these are the commercial uh, customers of the electricity, right? Then we have the industrial utilization, industrial distribution of the electricity, like any industry, any industry, right? Like NTPC, BHL, Bell, or any industry, right? Okay, so. Then we have the domestic use of the electricity, residential uh, utilization or usage of the electricity. So here we uh, get the electricity at 11 kV. Then we again step down the electricity at 440 kV. And then we uh, transmit, distribute the electricity at single phase, right? Or three phase also in case the load is um, large for any given house, right? So there is a generation of electricity at some low voltage comparatively um, to the transmitted voltage, right? Then we step up the generated uh, electricity at high value of the voltage, right? Transmitted to a long distance, it is received to a substation. From there, it is then again transmitted to another substation and so on, right? 
So this is how the generation, transmission and distribution of the electricity takes place in India. Now let us understand that how will we calculate the total energy consumed by uh, the electrical appliances installed at house or industry. And then we will see that uh, how will we calculate, calculate the total cost of electrical energy consumption. So as we know that the electrical energy is the product of power and time. So power here is the active power. This is the uh, active power, right? Active or real power, right? Or we can say true power. So this is what it is, right? And it is measured in watts. So watts is the unit of this power, watt is the unit of this power, right? And time is multiplied with power to get the electrical energy consumed. So uh, the unit of time taken here is R instead of seconds, like we take the larger unit of time. Okay. Uh, so the electrical energy is measured in what R we have, we have multiplied uh, the power with the time unit, which is hour, right, or R. So we measure the electrical energy in, is in what hour, but for practical purposes, this particular unit is quite small because the, the consumption of electrical energy is uh, very high, right? Because we have um, sometimes uh, very high power rating uh, electrical appliances like our geysers, our iron uh, immersion rod and like this. Okay, so that is why we prefer to measure uh, the consumption of electrical energy in kilowatt hour rather than in watt hour, right? So this one kilowatt hour is popularly, this is the, the commercial name of this one kilowatt hour is one unit. So generally you, you must have heard that uh, when the electricity bill is given to you by the uh, concerned authority or person, so you, so the electricity bill is calculated on the number of units, basically, like, for example, a total of 300 units have been consumed at your house, right, in a particular month. So this 300 unit means 300 kilowatt hour, right? So one unit is equal to one kilowatt hour. So generally, we do not use the word kilowatt hour commercially, we use unit. So these many units have been consumed. Okay, the bill we have got this month is for these many units. So this is how we, uh, you know, use the term unit for one kilowatt hour, right? So there are uh, four simple steps by using which we can easily calculate the or estimate the total consumption of the energy and its consumption cost. Uh, in domestic or industrial case, any case, right? So step one says that for every appliance, because each electrical appliance, each electrical apparatus, each electrical machinery has the power rating, which is in watt, right? So for example, the bulb, uh, the electric bulb, could be of 60 watt, it could be of 100 watt, or it could be of 200 watt like this. The LED bulbs, they are in seven watt power rating, 10 watt, 20 watt, 30 watt like that. Tube light, so it is of 40 watt, right? So what is the wattage of that particular electrical apparatus, electrical appliance? And it is its power, right? So what we do, we multiply this power of that particular electrical appliance with the total average, or you can say the average time for which that appliance work, or for which that appliance is operated. For example, uh, in summer season, uh, fans are operated for long duration, right? So over the day, over the 24 hours, 
fan is such electrical appliance which is operated almost 20 for the 24 hours or near about that right so if a fan is of let us say 40 watt if, if the power rating of a fan is 40 watt so that means uh, the total amount of electrical energy consumed by this electric fan would be 40 into uh, let us say 24 hours i'm taking the hypothetical case uh, generally fan does not operate for 24 hours even in uh, you know summer season but yes for the maximum duration it is the fan which is operated because we operate fan in day in night during day during night both right however the you know lightings led bulb or tube light they are operated during uh, night right and that too until we sleep so once we go to bed we sleep we switch off all the lights but we don't switch do not switch off the fan right so the first thing that we do is we multiply the power rating of a given electrical appliance with the total duration for which that appliance is operated during the day right so this is one that this is the first step right that second step is uh, because we measure the uh, you know uh, electrical energy in kilowatt hour instead of uh, measuring it in watt hours what we do we multiply this watt hour which we have obtained in step one so we multiply this watt hour with thousand so that we can get it in kilowatt oh, sorry we divide not multiply sorry we divide uh, this watt hour by 1000 right so uh, if we divide watt hour by 1000 so we can write it as kilo watt hour because uh, this kilo will be cancelled with this thousand and we get watt hour right so it remains same so uh, so we are uh, you know uh, calculating the total electrical energy consumed during a day in kilowatt hour and one kilowatt hour is equal to one unit right then what we do is we multiply multiply the kilowatt hour per day with the number of days of a month for example if we are uh, calculating the total energy consumed for the month of january so we multiply the total kilowatt hour of a day with 31 because january has 31 days so this will give us the total electrical energy consumed during a particular month and in the last step we consider the tariff right uh, rate per unit of electrical energy okay so uh, that is considered okay so and we multiply the total energy consumed the total number of units consumed of the electrical energy with the tariff accordingly okay so for example if the tariff from 0 to 100 unit is uh, let us say 4 rupees per unit right and the total electrical energy consumed during a particular month is let us say 90 so in that case we will multiply 90 with 4 so we'll get 360 rupees for example so this is the estimated amount of electricity bill right this is the estimate this could not be the exact amount but this is the estimated amount because to calculate the exact amount we have certain other factors also which are added or subtracted right or multiplied with this particular amount right so there are four steps the first step is we calculate the watt hour watt hour are calculated by multiplying the wattage of an electrical appliance to the total duration for which that appliance is operated during the day the second is we determine this we convert this watt hour into kilowatt hour by dividing watt hour with thousand third step is uh, we multiply the total number of days of the month with the total energy consumed or total kilowatt hour consumed in one day and the fourth is we multiply the total kilowatt hour of a month with the tariff right the price rate basically okay so now let us take an example so let us calculate 
uh, the total electricity bill of a flat, which is four BHK flat. And we have eight people, eight persons who are residing in that particular flat. And we have these many electrical appliances which operate in that flat and they have their wattage here, wattage given, and the duration for which they, though these electrical appliances operate. For example, we have four number of geysers, which so each geyser is of 1.5 kilowatt and um, it operates for 0.25 hours or 15 minutes. Similarly, similarly, rest of the electrical appliances are there, right? So now we have to calculate or we have to estimate the total electricity bill of this particular flat for the month of March. So March has 31 days, right? And this is the tariff, right? This is the tariff of the company which is providing the electrical sub energy or electricity. Okay, so we can have the electricity from any government agency or we can have the electricity electricity from some private agency right so the tariff says that up to 100 units so each unit is of four rupees then from 101 to 200 it is five rupees per unit and from 201 to 400 the tariff is 6.5 units uh, per unit and above 400 we have it is eight rupees per unit this is the tariff right so now let us calculate the total electrical energy consumed and total consumption cost of this flat. So now let us calculate. So uh, now this is the table. Now first step says that we have to find out the watt hour, right? Okay, so we have four geysers. Each geyser is of 1.5 kilowatt. And let us say each geyser operate for 0.25 hours or 15 minutes. So we have 4 into 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 because it is in kilowatt into 0 0.25, right? And similarly, we will do this thing. So there are four air conditioners. Each air conditioner is of 1.5, 1.8 kilowatt and they operate for one hour similarly we have rest of the things three into one one zero watt uh, into two hours right so and then we have the rest of the values also so on calculating the total watt hour we have got this as the total value so for each uh, appliance we have calculated the watt hour right for example, the geysers have 1500 watt hour, then air conditioner 7200, then television 6, 660 watt hour, then mixy, then all like that, right? So uh, now uh, we have the total watt hour, which is uh, 15,227.5 watt hour. So this was the step one. In step two, We divide the total watt R with one thousand to get the kilo watt R or units right because one kilowatt hour is of one unit so we have um, kilowatt hour as 15227.5 divided by 1000 so this will give me 15.2275 uh, kilowatt hour and or units so that means total unit consumed electrical energy is 15.2275, right? So these many units have been consumed. Then we have step three. So in step three, we will multiply this total energy consumed with the total number of days. 
okay so for the month of mars because we have to calculate the electricity bill for the month of mars uh, month of march total units consumed are uh, 15.2275 into uh, 31 so this would give me approximately 472 units right so 472 units have been consumed now the step four right okay so select the relevant tariff according to the total units consumed in one month right so let us see the tariff and the tariff is above 400 units it is 8 rupees per unit so total units consumed for the month of march is 472 units our tariff is rupees 8 per unit hence total cost of consumption of electricity for the month of March is so it is 472 into 8 so this will give me almost 3776 rupees so this is the total not total basically this is the estimated electricity bill for the month of March for the given flat right so this is how we calculate the total or estimated amount of electricity or estimated electrical energy consumption in any given uh, flat or house or industry right so i hope you have understood the concept of electrical energy and how to calculate the electricity bill though this is the estimated amount of the electricity but we have certain other factors also which are as i mentioned earlier also like power factor is one that factor which is included in the electricity bill calculations but here we are simply doing the static calculations okay so we are not considering the rest of the factors right so now this is it for today's lecture and thank you so much